I have come across a lot of differing opinions on the proper way to tow with your Tundra relative to your transmission settings. Should you be in tow haul mode? Should you be in drive? Should you be in S4 or S5 when traveling down the highway? I'm going to try to explain some of that and how that works with Toyota's AI system or their artificial intelligence system, which I'm not going to pretend I know a whole lot about other than it does seem to be a system that for me appropriately selects the right gear most of the time. Um, got my truck uh, just set here in the driveway and for purposes of this all we really need to do is discuss it but we'll kind of show you where that goes. Now the first thing I would tell you is as we take a look at it here and we focus in on the gauges you can see my parking brake is on. I am currently not in tow haul mode. Now, if I were to go into tow haul mode, um, uh, what would happen is the little light would come on there. And if you look over there by where the parking brake is, you can see tow haul light is now on and you can see it's now off. So the truth of the matter is anytime you're towing or hauling um, anything of any significant weight, you wanna be in tow haul mode. And what that does is it makes the truck more efficient in terms of moving the weight doesn't make it more efficient in terms of stopping the weight, but in terms of moving the weight, it makes it more efficient, and you need to be aware of that. That's the first thing. Second thing is, so I'm gonna, uh, as we go into uh, drive here, so I'm gonna go in, so now we're in drive, as you can see down there at the bottom, park reverse neutral drive, we've gone into drive. So when we're in drive and tow haul mode, that's where you wanna be for most everything. There were people who tell you, yo, no, no, you wanna be in S4, you wanna be in S5, that's not really the way the system so designed. as we go back and look over here so what the tundra does is it's constantly reading um and it's, i'm not going to tell you this is a sophisticated system or that i understand it well but i do know what it's constantly reading is the load percentage and the throttle opening to determine which gearing is best for you so that if you have a heavy uh, load behind you and you're going uphill and the engine load is harder the engine has to work harder um, it will sometimes downshift to adjust for that and um, you feel that you'll feel it kick in and that's what it's supposed right. to do you want to be in s4 when you first go into shift mode the only reason you really ever need to go into shift mode with this truck is to create engine braking now something happens so if i'm if i go over into shift mode now see how it says s4 it always goes to S4. The reason it always goes to S4 is because S3 has engine braking. You're gonna use S3 when you're headed downhill on a steep grade. If you're not headed downhill on a steep grade, you generally don't need this. There are some other situations where you might need it if you're in very hilly terrain, and we'll get to that in just a minute. But first, what I wanna focus on is you go over, so it says S4. Well, I'm not actually in S4. I'm still in first gear and I'm sitting still and if I take off, I'll be in first gear. What S4 does is it allows me to lock it out at fourth gear. It won't go into fifth gear. It won't go into sixth gear. It'll stop at fourth gear. I'm still gonna take off in first, second, and third before I hit fourth, but I'm not going any higher than fourth. Now I can go up a gear and I can go up, as you saw, we just changed it there to S5. Now I'm locked in S5. So when I'm towing and hauling in S5, what I'm telling the truck, if I'm headed down the interstate, is I don't want you going any higher than fifth gear. I don't want you going into sixth gear. The only reason ever to really do that going down the highway into S4 and S5 is if you're in very hilly terrain. Even going just uphill on a long incline and going downhill on a long incline, you don't necessarily need S4 or S5. You need it for a lot of hilly terrain up and down. Now, the other thing is, there's no engine braking available in S4 or S5. That's why, and so we'll go back into drive here, and we slip right back over into drive. <clears throat> so when we first go in, we're in S4. Now let's say we're headed down a steep grade in the mountains, and we're somewhere where you know we're a little bit concerned about the weight behind us. Maybe we have a heavy travel trailer, maybe we have a big load in the bed. Whatever it is, we're concerned about being able to brake and destabilizing the vehicle we want to use engine braking we have to be all the way down in s3 well what we don't want to do is as we make our shift from drive to over here we don't want to be right in s3 and have the truck immediately jerk uh, into a stop position potentially destabilize the vehicle and the trailer behind you so it goes over into s4 now from here you can downshift 
into S3, only one shift away. That's why it doesn't slide over into S5 or, and there is no S6. I guess there is technically an, X, an S6. Let's see, I'll go there. There's really no point in S6. If you're in S6, what that simply means is you're in shift mode, you've locked the vehicle out in sixth gear, you're essentially doing nothing. Um, so there is an S6, I like to tell, I don't use S6 ever. But again, go from drive over to S4, I'm heading down a steep uh, grade, maybe the roads are wet, whatever it is, I wanna use engine braking and not destabilize or he overheat my brakes. So what I'll do then is one downward shift into S3. So I think this helps explain this a little bit better. So the first thing you wanna focus on is if you're towing or hauling, you should have the tow haul mode on. It breaks your shift points a little better. The vehicle accelerates a little better, doesn't stop any differently. You want to mostly be in drive. Unless you're on steep uh, hills, then you wanna be over into S3 if you need engine braking so that you're not destabilizing the vehicle or heating up the brakes. And then anytime you wanna be in S4, or S5, it's because you're going up and down grades essentially in a frequent pattern so that you uh, keep the vehicle from over shifting and keep it from heating up your transmission. That's generally how you wanna use this thing. Other than that, there are pages in the Tundra, um, in the owner's manual, in my 2018 owner's manual, it's pages uh, 207, or, I'm sorry, not 207, it's pages uh, 197 to 200 um, discuss uh, uh, use of S mode in the Tundra. I hope this was helpful. Again, uh, feel free to hit like, feel free to comment, and of course, feel free to subscribe. The more comments we get, the more likes we get, it tells us what sort of information you wanna see on the truck. And I'm trying to focus my reviews on things that are practical and useful for you. And if somebody disagrees and has a reason for it, please go ahead and comment. I think the more knowledge, the better.